Uh, well, the challenge in this case was that um, the recordings are, are necessarily somewhat different because it's, it's one thing to record a solo voice. Um, it's actually one of the more difficult things to record accurately. Um, and then to add an acoustic guitar uh, into the mix uh, and a singing voice, it's really important uh, to be able to um, master each of the recordings slightly different uh, so that they will merge together and sound basically as if they were done in one shot. Uh, you don't uh, reveal the production uh, and the final product. Uh, a lot of credit has to go to Stefan Rudnicki, uh, who actually engineered the project in addition to being producer and, and director, uh, because he uh, is a master with a microphone. And uh, he, he knows exactly where to place it to get the exact right recording. And then once the recording comes to me, uh, if it's a good recording, I can, uh, I can bring the levels up in a way that doesn't destroy it. Uh, in a way that m makes it pleasing um, on the final product and uh, e even though uh, it was challenging um, obviously well worth it in the end. Well it means a lot. Uh, Society's Child uh, is sort of the culmination of a lot of different uh, ideas that I've come up with over the years in terms of mastering. Um, there's a lot of thought process that goes into mastering a vocal recording and uh, especially like matching up an acoustic guitar um, and making it sound clear and, uh, and wonderful for the consumer. Um, I'm pretty much a self-taught mastering engineer. Um, my techniques that I've come up with for mastering vocals uh, are completely self-taught and they come from just the experience of doing it uh, over the last decade and so to receive a nomination for achievement in production it feels like a real validation of all the effort that I put into that and um, obviously in conjunction with the Grammy Award it's just, uh, it's just an amazing thing um, and an amazing place for me to be at this point in my career. Proofing an audiobook essentially involves listening to the edited recording of the book um, while reading along with the text of the book. We usually use the engineer's script. Uh, more specifically, um, I'm listening for misreads audio quality issues, um, any missing material, missed edits or, or extra takes, um, and timing issues such as a need for a longer pause or a tightened up dialogue or line. Um, after that, um, everything has been marked and, and uh, everything is reported back to production, um, at which point the narrator would return and do a pickup session. Um, the corrections are then returned to the editor and they're placed in the book um, and then um, it's mastered and, and uh, becomes an audiobook. Uh, we do a lot of, of double checking and, and uh, kind of backing each other up um, in the pre-mastering process which takes place before a book is edited um, just to get an idea of the overall sound. Um, and then at, at the end, once the book is edited and mastered and, and ready to go, um, it's like our ears function in kind of different ways. Ted, Ted listens um, with more of a technical ear, um, and I, because I actually listen to a lot of audiobooks for, for pleasure and research and making housework more fun and interesting, um, I, I kind of have an idea of what's um, what's out there and what sounds good to just to just the um, average listener so I can kind of help find the balance of, of, of what works for the overall sound. 
Um, actually working on a project right now, a design project. Um, it's um, for Zondervan, and it's a children's Bible with multiple readers, um, and it's fully bedded with music and sound effects. Um, it's kind of for younger readers, so um, the stories are really sweet and gently told. Um, the challenge here is that we did um, a somewhat similar children's Bible last year with effects and music, um, and so making this one original when the stories are essentially the same stories, although told differently, it's it's a, a challenge to tell kind of tell the same stories again through the through the effects and the music without being repetitive. So keeping it fresh is is challenging.